What's going on guys? Today we are making keto crackers. So these are gonna be super perfect to meal prep, to just eat at all times of day. And I'm excited to make these because they're very simple. So almond flour, and we're gonna use two different types of cheeses and then whatever seasonings you want. So very quick to make, but I think they're gonna be really, really great for our 18 month old son, Theo. He loves little snacks and I feel like these are really, really good healthy snacks to have on hand for him. First thing we're gonna do is get our processor out. So you can blend or process this dough. It just makes it a lot easier to form. So I'm gonna do one cup of almond flour. And then we're gonna do three quarters cup of shredded cheddar. And then we're gonna do a quarter cup of shredded Parmesan. I love Parmesan. It has a nice bite to it. And I think it'll just add a really great flavor to these. Perfect. And now just for our seasonings, we're gonna do a little bit of salt, just a pinch, cause the cheese is gonna be very salty already. And then the seasonings I'm gonna go with. So you can just leave them plain like this cause they will be nice and cheesy, or you can do some seasonings. I'm gonna be going with some Italian seasoning and some additional garlic powder cause I just love everything very garlicky. So I'm just gonna add these in and then we're gonna blend. And if you guys are looking for the best store-bought crackers, because I know I always am, linked below is a blog post that includes these crackers as well as the best store-bought ones. So now we are just gonna mix. Bad news, guys. So Theo, our 18-month-old son, broke the processor. I don't know how, but it's, we plugged it into every plug in the kitchen and it just does not work. We're gonna try the blender. Let's get to it. Here we are, we got our blender. It's a Vitamix, so it should do the job. I'm gonna start on the lowest setting right now. I'm gonna give it a pulse actually to see what happens. Okay, that looks like it's coming together. So I'm just gonna scrape down the sides, make sure the almond flour isn't stuck in the bottom there. Okay, so that looks really good. I blended it for quite a bit. I kept pushing down the sides and it's still really crumbly, but it has like a nice wet texture almost. So I'm gonna transfer it to a bowl and we're gonna see how it comes together. And so it may seem too crumbly, but the key here is to be able to pick it up and it stick between your fingers like that. So that actually works really well. So your processor or your blender will work just fine. So I'm just bringing this dough together a little more here. That looks good. And now we are going to transfer this dough to a parchment paper and roll it out to a quarter inch thick. I'm gonna put it on one half and then I'm gonna fold over the other half like so. A little press down. I'm gonna get my rolling pin. Quarter inch thick will make them nice and thin and crispy. So I have my dough rolled out. I'm gonna transfer it to a baking sheet. And I'm not gonna cut them right now into crackers, but I'm gonna let it bake. And of course the cheese will come nicely together. And then once it comes out of the oven, I will use my pizza cutter to slice it up because it'll still be warm. And then once it cools and hardens, we'll have our nice crackers. So let's get this baking. We're gonna pop it in the oven at 350 degrees and bake between 10 and 12 minutes. I'm gonna check on it around eight minutes and see where we're at. Okay guys, our crackers are out of the oven. I actually, Pull them out at eight minutes because you can see that the edges are starting to brown and this is definitely like cooked through. So now we are gonna slice them up and then we're gonna let them fully cool before we actually give them a try. Oh yeah, see they're still nice and soft. Perfect for slicing up. They smell so good and cheesy and you can smell the herbs that I added. So those look good. I'm gonna set these aside. We're gonna let them cool completely because I think handling them right now, they're just, they're gonna fall apart and we don't want that to happen. So we'll be back in a little bit to taste test. We're back. It's been about 30 minutes. So these are definitely very cooled. And even if you touch them, you can feel that they've hardened up. So I am gonna pull one of these crackers out. Oh yeah. Oh, a little soft. You can see it's a little brown on the bottom and just nice and, oh, I'm so excited. You can smell all the seasonings and the cheese. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is probably one of the best keto crackers I've had, and we've tried a lot. Wow. So I love the combination of the Parmesan and cheddar. I think they complement each other perfectly. I highly recommend you give those a try. But if you do try other cheeses, definitely let us know down below which ones work best for you. But these are an absolute home run. Don't forget to check out the blog post that has the best store-bought crackers. So even if you make yours at home in bulk and you prep them and you store them in the fridge, because that's where you're gonna wanna store them, you might wanna buy some from the store and just have them on hand as well. So definitely make these crackers at home. Let us know what you think down below and check out the link blog post that'll show you exactly how to make these. Thanks for watching.